this last story, guys, um, this is on New York, uh, New York Post. The Biden-Harris administration uh, has lost track of more than 320,000 migrant children who crossed the border without parents, according to a shocking new report. Untold numbers of the children who were released into U.S. to qualified sponsors are now at risk for sex trafficking, forced labor, and other forms of exploitation. A Homeland Security Inspector General re uh, report released on this Monday. As of May 2024, there are 200 and 91,000 migrant children who arrived in the U.S. as unaccompanied minors who were set free and never given a date to appear in immigration court, meaning there's no way to track where these kids are, okay? Uh, that is in uh, addition to 32,000 children that the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Authorities released into the U.S. with hearing dates, but then failed to show up in court, okay? According to a 14-page report, which uh, tracked the period from October uh 2018 to September 2023. And then last, uh, a federal whistleblower uh, said that she believes many of these kids could already be in the hands of criminals and sex traffickers. I mean, and, oh. and again, these are major, major issues. And not to, Rob, what? I forgot the number of vanished missing, not the sponsor who came. And by the way, I heard when these sponsors show up, Rob, there's no background check. There's no nothing at them. They just show up and go, yeah, I'm, I'm the uncle. Okay. Take them. Here's a piece of paper. We'll see you in court. And One should be too many. And the fact that it's 320,000 times that amount yeah. is so upsetting, especially, Tom, you have two daughters. I have two sons. My five-year-old, I see the innocence in this child's eyes, how much he loves everything, everything. I come home from work. It's the best thing that's happened oh, today. So awesome. <laughs> it's time for a bath. It's the best thing that's ever happened today. Yeah. To deprive someone of that innocence and take that away from them and then this is like of all the things that the government should be doing it should be protecting people who cannot protect themselves and that's what makes this country great is that when there are people that need refuge from other countries and they come here the right legal way we provide aid to them we help them how is this allowed to happen it's so disgusting and upsetting that even one child goes unaccounted for but the the, the i mean this is stadium fulls of children think about that <laughs> tampa bay Rady stadium seats forty thousand people this is how many times more than eight times eight times. you could fill tampa bay ray stadium with eight times the amount of children that are missing and and, and what's being done to find them it's just it's, disgusting well, Tom, because i want to what, what do you think with the um, question that he asked i I'm interested in, you know, what you think deeper, because if you're going to not protect the border mm -hmm. and you let the people flood in, once they're here, you want to give them the right to vote, you want to give them a free cell phone, don't you want to give them the legal protections that every other person that lives here mm -hmm. has? Mm -hmm. The ability to call the fire department and get help, the ability to call the police department and get protection or get a situation diffused, and yet you bring them in here and we used to have truant officers at, at schools. You know, we've got people at schools that, that allege we need to protect kids from their parents by allowing them to have abortions or to, you know, start, you know, trans and gender things. Mm -hmm. And we want to protect the children from their own parents. So if you're so big on protecting children, why is it when you open the border and you're welcoming these people that you want to give citizenship to, all these precious kids that are coming in, you don't want to give them the basic protection of who the hell is that that picking you up yeah. and ha being able to document where they're going. It says that to me is just, you know, the means to an end to flood the country with voters, which is the plan is means that it doesn't really matter what happens to all of them yep. and and the federal government doesn't keep track of them and gavin newsom will figure out a way to give you a free house yeah. you know and discriminate against his own taxpayers yeah i just think it's horrible i, I mean it's 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 such a two-sided it's insidious it's insidious it and it's and it's absolutely disgusting the fact that you know, they're children because at some point these children, if that's their even purpose, that they're just going, you know, they're vanishing, but they're not voters. What are you using children for? 320,000 children that we don't know where they are. It's not like they're 18, 19 and they're going to go vote. These are 
children. They didn't say young adults. They said children. But it's not secret. It's not a secret. Protecting kids, it's not like it's the high priority on the government or the mainstream media. What's the movie, Rob, that came out? Sound, uh, of, Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom. Was it promoted anywhere? A movie about a true story about a sex trafficking situation with a girl, with her brother, with her family. Nobody, I didn't see it anywhere, Tom. It wasn't anywhere. Fox News and like some independent outlets. And I'm just gonna, I want to say this before we close. That come, with all that being said, with everything that we just said, come November, when you go to vote, because Tom, I love that you made the point about the policies and the housing and with Elizabeth Warren and all these uh, people in, in, in regard to groceries. Um, with all with this open border, okay, there needs to be sensible control, all right? And if 320,000 misplaced migrant children that nobody knows where they are, they're released into the wild without any guardrails, a significant amount, guys, not a 5%, not a 20%, a huge amount of them are inevitably going to be going and winding up at 1,000 a, a Epstein Islands around the United States, oh. without a doubt. You know, you put it that way, and that's just that's but, just painful to think about that that we're turning a blind eye to what you just called it, a thousand little Epstein Islands. Yeah, that's just that's horrifying. It's but but Tom, very very believe like feasible, and it could Adam. Like, you, you feel what I'm coming from? Well, I think you know if, if you're going to look at this politically, if you look at it morally, nobody feels good about this unless you're an absolute psychopath. This is horrible. These are kids. You know, and Rob, you know, very poignant, absolute Heartfelt, amazing point. Amazing. Like when you said, I have two sons, I see, like, I have a nephew. All my best friends have kids. Like, nobody wants to see bad things to kids, 100%. How can Trump use this to pivot to his advantage? I feel like every day that he's not talking about the calamity that is the border mm -hmm. is a failed opportunity. Yep. The border is arguably a more powerful message at this point than the economy because we talked about the economy is okay but it's not that okay like yeah. inflation bidenomics kamala owns the border that was she was the quote-unquote border Borders czar. are whether she wants to deny it or not we know the truth it's in the congressional so record yeah. anything that has to do with the border if he's not hitting that every single day remember the map the graph that saved save trump's life, life he needs to go to that well every single day. Any day that he's not talking about the border and he's talking about whether she likes curry or grits and she's black or Indian is a missed opportunity. Yep. It's pointless. Yep. Nobody cares about that. Yep. Focus on the border. You can win this election. Yep. Border, a border, economy, and everything like that. Border and abortion. Border, border yeah. and abortion. Yeah. Those are the things at this point. Do you know it's interesting you say that? Uh, all the research will tell you this. The big three issues is immigration and the border, inflation and the economy, uh, because people think of the economy, they think of inflation about their budget, and they think of the economy as their little economy. It says, and then women's rights. Those are the big three. Mm -hmm. If you go to Arizona, Democrats and Republicans on the heat index, it's very interesting, Adam, they feel the same way about immigration, because guess what? In Arizona, Democrats and Republicans have undocumented people. And it's a border state. Living, yep. but, but they see the people live yeah. living there out in front of the same Kroger. The Democrat and the Republican go to Kroger to get groceries, and there you, you have this tent city and these people right in front of you. So both, both in Arizona, they see it equally. You go to someplace like Missouri, and the Republicans see it on a logical, rational policy level, yeah. and the Democrats see it differently mm -hmm. because it's not in their face. Same thing when you go to the economy. You go to the economy in Alabama. Both sides are feeling the same about inflation. They don't feel so much about, about the border. Women's right is tipped. Each state is a little different, and those are the states, one by one, that are going to make up the tapestry of who wins this election. Yep, and I can't wait. You know, tomorrow's going to be a big day. I mean, today they, they're wrapping today, right? The NC's done, Rob? It'll be tonight. Kamala, when she accepts the nomination, that'd be crazy. What if she came out and she goes, nah. <laughs> no, well, I, yeah. I'm not taking it. Oh, no, yeah. No, well, do you want to talk about crazy? Uh, she no, says, that's not going to happen. Psych. <laughs> Michelle? Michelle. <laughs> Michelle just pops up and was like, yo. Oh, my goodness. You know I mean? You never know. I wouldn't put it past him. What's up, everybody? Vincent O'Shawn here. If you want to see me and the entire Valuetainment crew, we will be at the Vault Conference September 4th through the 7th at the Palm Beach Convention Center, hosted by none other than Patrick McDavid and featuring Dwayne The Rock. Johnson. Guys, this is the place to be. If you are an entrepreneur and you want to level up, do not miss this opportunity. This is the best place to network. If you want tickets, go to thevaultconference.com. Do not waste 
time. This thing is going to sell out, and I will see you guys there. Peace and love. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, patriots.